In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the primer and hose assembly on a Ryobi trimmer. The primer bowl pumps fresh fuel into your trimmer's carburetor, making it easier to start. As with any component of your trimmer's fuel system, the primer bulb will eventually deteriorate and wear out because of its constant exposure to fuel. The primer bulb kit includes the bulb and a new piece of fuel line. Replacing the primer bulb is easy to do and we're going to show you how. Primer bulbs as well as many other parts can be found on our website. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear cover. Now I'll remove the two screws that secure the carburetor to the engine. Now I can pull the carburetor away and twist it up while removing the throttle cable. Before removing any of the fuel lines from the carburetor or the lines from the tank, you'll want to make sure that you drain any gas that might still be in the fuel tank. We'll begin by removing the two fuel lines from the back of the primer bulb. You'll notice that there's two different lengths of nipples on the back of the primer. It's a good idea to take note of which line is connected to which nipple before removing the lines. In this case, the return line between the primer and the fuel tank is connected to the longer nipple, and the line between the carburetor and the primer is connected to the shorter. So I'll go ahead and remove those lines. Now I can remove the primer bulb from the carburetor base. The primer bulb is held in place with two tabs. I'll squeeze those tabs together and push the primer bulb out of the base. Now I'll install the primer bulb. The primer bulb will only fit into the base one direction. You'll notice that there's a tab around the shorter nipple, and that tab lines up with the slot on the base. So I'll just snap that into place. The primer bulb kit includes a small piece of fuel line, and that line goes between the primer and the carburetor. So I'll go ahead and pull the line away from the carburetor base and remove it from the carburetor. Now I'll install the line. I'll slide it onto the nipple on the carburetor and then pass it back through the carburetor back plate. and I'll install the other end back to the primer bulb. And remember, the line between the carburetor and the primer bulb attaches to the short nipple on the primer. And I'll reconnect the return line. Now I'll reinstall the throttle cable back onto the carburetor's throttle linkage. And I'll secure the carburetor as well as the choke plate with the screws. As I tighten the upper screw, I want to make sure I have the choke plate lined up as well as the wavy washer so it doesn't get pinched by the screw. And now I'll reinstall the rear cover with the air filter. Thank you. 